the realm. Do you know what the realm is? It's the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies. A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Game of Thrones and a Song of Ice and Fire video. In this video, I will be discussing another one of the unsolved mysteries from the final season of Game of Thrones. The reason why I'm making this video is because of something I read in a recent article written by John Fallon. Now, what he wanted to know was how much from Game of Thrones Season 8 will be in The Winds of Winter. As I'm sure most of you know by now, the Game of Thrones writers David and Dan famously sat down with George R. R. Martin so they could discuss how he would end his books. They said they needed to know where his story was heading so they could start setting things up in the show. That would essentially make sure they end the same way, although they may go in drastically different directions before they got there. Unfortunately, we may never find out everything George R. R. Martin said during that meeting, but one thing we do know is he revealed three shocking events that would happen before it all ended. We eventually found out what some of these shocking events were. For those of you who don't know, the first shocking event was when Stannis Baratheon had Melisandre burn his daughter Shireen. Now, we don't know exactly how this will go down in the books, but according to the Game of Thrones writers David and Dan, this was given to them by George R. R. Martin. The second shocking event was the Hodor revelation. That was when Hodor was sacrificed as Bran and Mira escaped from the Three-Eyed Raven's cave. Again, we don't know exactly how this will happen in the books, but Dan and Dave said this was directly from George himself. So that only leaves one more. Game of Thrones writer David Benioff said the final shocking moment would happen at the end, in the final season. As you all know, it has now been several years since Game of Thrones aired its final episode, yet Dan and Dave still haven't revealed what that final shocking moment was. We don't even know if they still went forward with whatever information George gave them. If they did show his third shocking moment, we may never know it was from the books until we read them and find out for ourselves. Now, let me show you what else David Benioff said during this interview because it is very interesting. Right after he said the final shocking moment would be at the very end of Game of Thrones, he also said fans were discussing whether the books would be spoiled. He also said that's not exactly accurate. So much of what happens in the show already diverges from the books. And while there are certain elements that will be the same, we're not going to let you know how much is actually from the books, and I don't think George is either. Fans will be very surprised when they read the books after the show. They're very different in so many respects for the remainder of the show. It does seem like they stuck by this statement. After they revealed Shireen's burning and Hodor's death were the first two shocking moments, they never gave us any more additional insight into what was actually from the books. Now, unless I'm forgetting something, the only other thing we can confirm from the books is Bran Stark becoming the king in the end. And if you remember, this was not revealed by David or Dan. It was the actor Isaac Hempstead Wright who gave out this information during an interview after the show was over. Unfortunately, the Game of Thrones writers may never let us know what that third shocking event was, but that doesn't mean we can't make an educated guess, assuming they still did show it in the final season. Since David and Dan said it would happen at the very end, we know it doesn't have anything to do with what happened during Season 6 or Season 7. If they did stick to what George gave them, it should have happened in Season 8. Now, if you ask me, I think there are really only three scenes in the final season you could consider as shocking. As I go through the first episode in the final season, I don't notice any scenes that I would consider shocking. Everything that happens in this episode is mostly set up for the next one. Now, Samwell was certainly shocked when he found out Daenerys burned his father and brother, but us as an audience already knew that. Jon Snow was certainly shocked when he found out who his real mother and father was, but once again, us as an audience already knew that as well. The episode ended on almost a very interesting scene, when we saw the Night King symbol burning on the wall. But as we all know, this basically amounted to nothing, so this would not be shocking either. The second episode of the final season was mostly set up scenes as well. The episode did have arguably one of the best scenes in the season, when Brienne was knighted by Jaime Lannister, but I don't think any of us would consider that shocking. Now, I do think Daenerys was definitely shocked at the end of the episode when Jon revealed he was Aegon Targaryen, but once again, us as an audience already knew this. We weren't shocked at all. The episode ended with a very exciting scene as the Night King's army arrived just outside of Winterfell, but we knew they would get there eventually. Now, this next episode may have at least one scene that fans would consider shocking, but I will let you know why I don't think it's the final shocking moment. Episode 3 is when the Night King and his army attacked Winterfell. 
The battle did result in many of our beloved characters getting killed, but I don't think any of these would be considered shocking. We had been leading up to that battle ever since the very first episode of the very first season. Everyone should have known many characters would die if the White Walkers ever made it south of the Wall. In fact, there were some fans who even expected everyone to die when that happened, but as we all know, the Night King never made it any further than Winterfell. He never even made it out of the Godswood because this is where Arya Stark jumped from the foul line to deliver her fatal blow. Now, this is a scene I could see fans saying is the final shocking moment from George R. R. Martin. It was definitely very unexpected for many of us fans, including me. I don't believe this is the final shocking event, though. The main reason I think this is because there is not a Night King in the books. Now, some of you may say that's only because he hasn't been introduced in the story yet. And I actually think there will be a Night King in the books myself. He may not look like the one in the show, and he may not even have that same name, but I do believe there is a leader of the White Walkers in some form or fashion. Now, with that said, I still don't think this is the third shocking moment because I know this scene was not from George. I know this is hard for some fans to believe, but David and Dan have admitted they created this scene on their own. They said it during an interview right after the episode aired. They decided they would have Arya kill the Night King about three years before the final season was released. That would have been several years after they had their meeting with George R. R. Martin. They manufactured that scene on their own. So, since it was not from George, I know it's not the third shocking event that he gave them. Now, if we go to episode 4, there are a few scenes that could be in consideration. Daenerys' dragon, Rhaegal, getting shot out of the sky by Euron was certainly shocking, in the sense that no one thought it would have happened that easily. Especially after we are to believe Danny was so stupid, she just kind of forgot about the Iron Fleet. After hearing a statement like that, I know this scene had to be manufactured by David and Dan, so I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, that's not the final shocking moment from George either. Now, there is one other scene from this episode that I think should be in consideration, and that is Missandei's death. I think George might do something like this in his books, although I think the way he has her captured will be slightly different. This won't happen because Danny forgot about Euron's fleet. The reason why I think we should consider Missandei's death as the final shocking moment is because of who she is as a character, as well as who the other characters are that were involved in the other shocking moments. Actually think about who died during those other events that were from George R. R. Martin. The first shocking event was the burning of Shireen, and the second shocking event was Hodor's death and or the revelation surrounding his name. If there were any other characters who did not deserve to die, I think we can make a good case for all three of these characters. There weren't very many other characters who are more innocent than them. Now, there are obviously a lot of other characters who I wish did not die, like Ned Stark for instance. I wish he lived until the end. However, I understand why he died. The same way I understand why Daenerys died. Their actions and their choices led to their demise. Shireen, Hodor, and Missandei, however, did not do anything themselves that should have led to their death. Now, I know they were always in the line of fire because they were aligned with one of the major houses that were at war, but they never did anything themselves that harmed others. So, I will say it again. Since Shireen and Hodor were such innocent characters, maybe the third shocking moment involves another character who fits that description. With all of that being said, I still think there is one more scene that could be considered significantly more shocking than this, mostly because it had a much bigger impact on the final season. In the fifth episode of the last season, there are a number of different scenes that some may consider shocking, however, I believe there is really only one that stands above the rest. I don't think Varys' demise was shocking at all, because Melisandre let us know this would happen a full season beforehand. I don't think Jaime or Cersei getting killed was shocking either. If anything, what did shock me about it was the way in which they died. I was hoping for a much more gruesome death for Cersei, or at the very least, dying at the hands, or should I say hand, of Jaime. That would have been very satisfying. I would not say there was anything shocking about Sandor and Gregor's final scene either. This was set up all the way back in the first season. Not only that, but the Hound reminded us over and over again how he wanted to kill his brother. So I think most of us saw that happening in the future. The one scene that did shock millions of fans was when Daenerys decided to burn down King's Landing with all of its civilians. Now, the main reason why it may have shocked as many fans as it did is because of the execution. Most would say her descent should have happened a lot slower in the final season. Either way, it was still a major event that left millions of fans stunned. In the final episode of this season, there is at least one more scene that makes the list. 
One of the biggest moments from the episode is obviously when Jon Snow stabs Daenerys in front of the Iron Throne. I'm not sure if I would actually consider this scene shocking, because of what Danny did in the last episode. Now, if this happened without the last episode, I would definitely have been shocked by it. But since Daenerys burnt down King's Landing, I felt like this almost had to happen. As much as you might not agree with how Danny's story ended, you should be able to understand why someone had to stop her. I know some fans like to say everyone in King's Landing deserved to die, but I don't agree with that whatsoever. There were children who died who had no say in where they lived. I also know there are some who like to say they deserve to die because some of them were screaming for Ned Stark's head, but that was only a few hundred of them. Daenerys set fire to hundreds of thousands, most of whom were innocent. That's why I was not shocked when she died at the end, although I do agree her story should have been handled a lot better than it was. There's no doubt about that. The rest of this episode is somewhat lackluster. The only other scene that should be considered is Bran Stark becoming the king. That is another moment I know stunned everyone. I don't think anyone saw that happening. And as much as I don't like it, we all know it is the one scene that did come from the man himself. Unfortunately, this might have been the final shocking moment since it is the only one we do know will happen in the books. Not only that, David Benioff said it would happen at the very end. Now, he could have just meant the final season, but if he meant the very end, as in the last episode, this might be the one, since it is the only scene that has been confirmed as of right now. Unless George R. R. Martin starts releasing more books, we may never actually find out, and that would suck. Maybe, just maybe, the final shocking moment were the friends we made along the way.